Welcome back to MTR for season one, episode one of Tell Me Tuesdays. Each episode, I'll be randomly selecting a few requests to listen to and analyze, but be warned, I may not necessarily have good stuff to say about it. Whilst I'll be listening to the whole song, time constraints mean that the editing process will show that I'm only cutting out bits of interest. Links to the songs are in the description below. However, if you want to be surprised, don't look. Being here means two things. You're discovering new music and you're playing a game. Okay, I'll explain further. In my Tell Me videos, there are hints to a theme. This season's theme is famous movie. Hidden in each Tell Me video is a series of clues which allude to what the theme is. They may be anywhere in the video and they will be super discreet. So make sure you're watching. Comment below what movie you might think it is. At the end of each Tell Me season, I'll be doing a special video around the theme. So leave your Tell Me request down below in the comments. Okay, so we're off to see what the first one is. Killer Crook, thank you for your request. Cowboy Bebop. The band is Tank. <laughs> Do I know this song? The riff sounds really familiar. Shakers. I think it's time to blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. <laughs> It's like... It's super bluesy. I like it just follows that blues chord progression. This is fun. I think this is pretty famous, isn't it? Yeah. Saxophone solo. <laughs> There's no such thing as a wrong note in jazz. What's that low pitch woodwind kind of brass, like a saxophone? Or is that something like a sousaphone? Yeah, it sounds reedy. Gotta be a sax. Back to our thing. I feel like the level of proficiency you need as a saxophone player is absolutely ridiculous for this. I think I've heard that before. It is very familiar. It's of Cowboy Bebop. Hey! <laughs> I've actually had this person request this often, so I'm really glad that it's come up. I don't know anything about it. So thank you, Swal C. Pagan, and sorry for butchering your name. Oh God, it's 15 minutes. <laughs> Caligula's horse. <laughs> yes. Time signature stuff going on here too. I feel like with a 15 minute piece, there's going to be some kind of huge development here and that vocalist coming in actually quite shocked me. I, I really do like the melody of this. I'm going to tell you now, I'm going to be fully honest with all of these. I am liking it. And if I'm given something I don't like, I'm going to be honest. Because usually I have positive things to say. But reactors love saying positive things because it gets them subscribers. 
And it's just gone to a different key at the end there too. It didn't even resolve. I don't know who these guys are, but like the harmony is super complex. The rhythm, there's time signature stuff going on and my timing is terrible, so I haven't picked it up. Oh, just so light on the other instrumentation. Hearing a six eight here as a time signature. Oh, is that like vocals distorted? Oh. Last beats. What style of music is this? <laughs> this is cool. I don't know what those lyrics are. But we can predict when they come in. Let's see if it happens again. One, two. <laughs> For something that was actually 15 minutes, that didn't feel like 15 minutes. Okay, so there's one more left. Tell me. Drum roll. Angry Puma. Welcome to the Tell Me Club. Sorry, that was really lame. Flau. Fla Is this a German song? I mean, I could say it in, in like the worst kind of like Aussie accent. It's like Kleiner Wagon, mate. But I'm pretty sure it's like Kleiner Wagen. So it looks like Flau is a really small artist. Interesting. So it's German. I've always said I wanted to give the little guy a chance. So let's see how this sounds. And if you like it, I'm going to put links down below. Kleiner. That's my spark. Kleiner means small, right? And wagon means wagon? <laughs> wagon? I feel like the um, the lyrics are probably super important here. My, my apologies, my German is kind of subpar. It's kind of not the music that I'd usually listen to, so I'm not going to really... Like, I can, I can say what I can about it. I like that. That really low, distorted bass. That's catchy. Actually, you know what? I wasn't sure about it. I really wasn't. Melodically, it was very bland. But then when that chorus thing came in, so I'm I'm gonna say, let's keep listening. Okay, this is actually now catchy. Mega Sloth? Interesting guitar riff going throughout, actually. Kind of Wagen chorus? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I feel like I might be... I don't know whether it would be more entertaining if I understood the German or not. Oh. Well, then that would make sense, wouldn't it? Is this innocent? I can't see that it wouldn't be. If you had fun, I'm not really only just doing reactions. Check out this video of me scrutinizing the hell out of logos. Thank you for watching. Until next time.